Welcome back, Beaver Nation, to another episode of the Beaver Sports Show. The men's basketball team was in action this past weekend as they squared off against Oregon for the record 334th time. And the wrestling team was back in action this past weekend as they took on Cal Poly and Stanford. The gymnastics team traveled to Oklahoma, and the women's basketball team made their way down to Eugene to take on the Ducks in the Civil War. Also, redshirt freshman Roberto Nelson will join us for an in-studio interview. You're watching the Beaver Sports Show on KBVR. Alongside me, as always, is Rick Stella. I'm Boone Kruger, and you're watching the Beaver Sports Show. The men's basketball team took on the Oregon Ducks this past Saturday in the 334th edition of the Civil War. In what is the most played rivalry game in college basketball, pitted two improving teams against each other. Oregon State came into the game in fifth place in the Pac-10, looking to improve upon their 8-9 and 3-3 and three and three conference record, while the Ducks didn't want to get left behind in the cellar coming into the game at 8-10 and 1-5 and and in the Pac-10. With more on the game, here is Sports Show reporter Wendy Ike. Thanks guys, I'm here at Gill Coliseum as the Beavers are about to take on the Ducks in the first Civil War matchup of the season. Let's take a look. The Beavers walked into Gill Coliseum this past Saturday with high hopes and confidence that they would beat their rival, the Oregon Ducks, in the 334th meeting between the two teams. Oregon State entered the game at 8-9 and 3-3 and in conference play, while the Ducks were 8-10 and 1-5. And the Beavers' Omari Johnson started off the game with a layup on an assist by Devin Collier. Both teams went back and forth to start the game, keeping the score close in the first five minutes of play. However, a successful three-point shot by Oregon's E.J. Singler and a missed three-point attempt by Roberto Nelson brought the game to an 11-11 tie and started Oregon on their way to a 17-point lead against the Beavers. A free throw by Angus Brandt, as well as three consecutive field goals by Lathan Wallace, including one three-pointer, was enough to bridge some of the gap in Oregon's lead, making the halftime score 33-24 in favor of the Ducks. In the second half, the Beavs worked hard to come back on the Ducks. Roberto Nelson continued to struggle shooting the ball, but was finally able to settle for a nice layup. However, the crowd at Gill rose to their feet as Devin Collier landed a beautiful slam dunk, assisted by Ahmad Starks, followed by two three-pointers by Lathan Wallace, who achieved his season high of 15 points, finally giving the Beavers their first lead over the Ducks since the start of the game at 40-38. While the Beavers kept their lead through the middle of the second half, they were unable to hold their rival as they found themselves missing the same shots the Ducks were making. A slow clock made for an intense ending as Jared Cunningham's three-pointer and Roberto Nelson's two-point jumper brought the Beavers just behind the Ducks at 59-61 in the last nine seconds of the game. Unfortunately, the combination of Oregon's J.R. Strobridge's two-for-two two free throws and Roberto Nelson's unsuccessful last attempt at three-pointer left the Beavers with devastating loss to the Oregon Ducks at 59-63. The Beavers played hard and fought well to overcome a 17-point deficit. However, shooting 20 for 52 from the floor did them no favors and was not enough to overcome Oregon's 50% from the field. 